Hello everyone, welcome back to Pacific Front Channel. After I publish a short about the arrival of the Indonesian Navy Frigate KRI Marta Dinata, some of you commented this is not the only Sigma Frigate coming for RIMPEC. Her cousins, who live in Mexico, is also coming to the exercise too. Meet ARM Benito Juarez, the lead ship of the Reformador class frigate of the Mexican Navy. To be honest, I don't know much about the Reformador class frigate. And I bet some of you are also interested in finding out about her, right? So in today's video, let's talk about the Reformador class frigate, her specification, armaments, and of course, the difference with the Marta Dinata class frigate. Stay tuned! Before we look at the Reformador class, let's look at the Mexican Navy fleet first. Before the Reformador class entered service, the Mexican Navy operated four ASW frigate and dozens of smaller OPVs and corvettes. However, the frigates have all been decommissioned and the smaller OPVs and corvettes are primarily used for drug interdiction and patrol or deterrence against hostile threats in low to medium intensity conflict. Furthermore, these vessels are mostly 20 years or older. So, the Navy devised a plan for the construction of a new long-range OPV or POLA as part of the Marine Sector Program 2013-2018 to not only strengthen the Navy but also promote the maritime development of the country and its naval industry. Diamond Sigma 10514 design was chosen for this plan, and construction began in 2017. Just like with Indonesia, two modules were built in the Netherlands, while the remaining four, including the final assembly, were done in Mexico. This is the biggest and the first modern warship constructed in Mexico in 80 years. The ship was launched in late 2018 and commissioned in 2020. In the beginning, the ship was named ARM Reformador, then renamed ARM Benito Juarez as we know it today. One of her main missions includes patrol and surveillance operations in the Mexican EEZ and maintaining the rule of law at sea. ARM Benito Juarez will serve as a test ship to be followed by a series of seven sister ships with construction to start from 2025 to the 2030s, using an improved design that most likely increases in size and displacement. These ships are required by the Mexican Navy to be able to deploy a squadron of frigates on each coast of the country. If all seven ships are ordered, the Polar program could cost $3 billion and become one of the largest surface combatant programs in Latin America. Benito Juarez has a length of 107.14 meter, width of 14 meter, draft of 3.9 meter, and displacement of 2,575 tons. Powered by combined diesel and electric propulsion, she has a maximum speed of 28 knots, range of 5,000 nautical mile, and endurance of 20 days. She has a complement for up to 122 persons and a flight deck and hangar for a 10-ton helicopter. She is equipped with a Bofors 57mm naval gun, one Typhoon 25mm RCWS, four Harpoon anti-ship missiles, two triple torpedo launchers for Mark 54 torpedo, as well as eight RIM-162 ESSM in a Mark 56 VLS system, and RIM-116 RAM. Benito Juarez is equipped with Thales Smart S Air and Surface Surveillance Radar, Thales Tactico CMS, Ansut Synapsis Navigation Radar, and Thales Captas 2 Tot Ray Sonar. Now, let's compare it with the Indonesian Navy's Marta Dinata class. Dimension-wise, Benito Juarez is slightly longer, which makes the displacement a bit heavier. They both use similar engine propulsion, resulting in a similar performance. In the weapon sector, the difference is located in the manufacturer preferences. The Indonesian Navy has been a long operator of Leonardo products, so it's not surprising that they chose Leonardo's naval gun and torpedo. And since the turn of the century, they started using non-American weapons in their warship. Because Mexico is close to the US, both geographically and politically, American weapons are the best fit for them. Both weapons package has their strengths and weaknesses, and it all comes back to each Navy's requirements. Although from what I see, Benito Juarez weapons are more toward air defense role with the combination of ESSM and RAM missiles. Meanwhile, Marta Dinata is more all-rounder. Their sensors are almost identical, except for the type of sonar they use. Benito Juarez is equipped with a tote array sonar, meanwhile Marta Dinata will mount it. 
Tot Resonance over superior resolution and range compared with hull mounted ones, and it also covers the baffles, the blind spot for hull mounted sonar. However, effective use of the system limits the ship speeds, making it vulnerable to attack, and care must be taken to protect the cable from damage. Seeing two classes of frigates from two different requirements really shows how versatile the Sigma design is. Advanced modular design plus a generous technology transfer in shipbuilding makes Sigma an attractive product for anyone who wants to build their shipbuilding industry. And these two will soon get another cousin too, when the Sigma frigate ordered by the Colombian Navy enters service. I think it's gonna be a beautiful sight if we can see these warships sail or conduct exercises together someday. Before I go, I want to inform you that I have updated my merch store. You all know I'm a military aviation geek, so I designed three notebook covers of the most iconic aircraft in existence. There are two notebook versions, one with a hard cover and a ribbon bookmark, and one with a soft cover and a ring. It's an A5 size notebook with 60 pages of Concord plain paper. I have one before and I use it for drawing. Objectively speaking, the quality is great. It's a print-on-demand product made in Indonesia but can be shipped worldwide too. So if you, my Indonesian and Asian brothers, need a new notebook or want to give a present to friends and colleagues, these notebooks can be a great gift. For you who live in Europe or America, shipping from Indonesia might be a bit troublesome. That's why I made a similar listing in my spring merch store closer to where you live. It's slightly different in size and comes only in a soft cover with a ring and lined paper. Besides the notebook, I also make aviation theme puzzles. It's a 500 piece puzzle with a dimension of 24 by 18 inches or 61 by 45 centimeter. So it's quite big. I'm sure it's gonna be a great activity to spend with your family and friends during summer. By buying my notebooks and puzzles, you can get cool stuff and support me directly. If you don't want to buy my merch but like the images, no problem. You can get the images for free from my freebies page. I put the link in the description. Thank you for your attention and happy shopping! And that's it for today. Care I Marta Dinatas Cousins from Mexico, the Reformador class frigate. What do you think of this frigate? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.